You're listening to the Minecraft Podcast. Oh my god, dude, god. that was fine. Get out of here. Welcome to episode 63 of the Mind Crack Podcast. It's the four of us again, just the four of us. Yay. Just the four of us. <laughs> just the four of us. Uh, oh God, so. Love you guys. How you guys doing? <laughs> I don't think Goode likes us right now. Goode does not like us right now. <laughs> what's, what's wrong, Goode? Goode, what's wrong? Your face. Yeah. We're all late because <laughs> Beef was all busy being. Yeah, he's like, some... be a few minutes late. Okay, maybe 10 more minutes after 10. Or he said, okay, maybe 10 minutes at most. At ten, like 10 after. So I'm, I guy. I'm a pretty busy guy. I'm yeah. sorry. Why don't you tell us what you're doing? Life. I made it. What were you doing, Beef? Huh? That, that's it. not important. It is important. It is not Everyone important. needs to know why you were late. Nobody needs to know why I was late. Was, was it an injurendo? A what? <laughs> Did you say injure <laughs> window? <laughs> no, I injured window. my window. <laughs> I, I said injure window. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Get that looked at. Yeah. Uh, shall we move on? No, we need to know why. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you why. So, <laughs> Doom Four is still in the works, everybody. I'm, I'm I'm excited. I don't know about Are you guys. serious. You're I didn't seriously know the Doom franchise was still a thing. I thought. I thought ID, I, kidding, yeah, man. I thought it kind of dissolved, didn't they? Oh, right. It. No, well, they did great, shouldn't they? But I hope Doom Four is lighter than Doom Three was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doom Three. Well, they. Now with the BFG edition. The BFG edition is is legit. It's it's bright enough. It's not super dark because they actually have lights. Yeah, but, uh, that, was, that was a shame. I don't know. I, I just I just thought it was weird because like uh, about two weeks ago I was talking with a co-star. I, I figured I better say his full name because star. not well not that many people will know who I'm talking about if I just say co. But um, star. Yeah, we were just talking about like. <laughs> The, like Doom Three, like that's the first game that got me playing scary games. I'm not saying that other word for the, the fear of you guys making fun of me. So it's now spooky or scary games. Horror games. Yeah, yeah, that that one exactly. <laughs> but I, I I don't know. I was just talking with him, and it's like it's been years. That's why since... Beef was late. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Come on, <laughs> you're the one that just said it. So rude. Wow. Can I continue? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, I don't know. It's just it's it's been forever since a, a Doom game came out, and I'm I'm super excited. And apparently, if you want to get into the beta, all you have to do is pre-order Wolfenstein: The New Order. I don't is know. That that out already? Still no, that's coming out in the third quarter, I believe. Did you guys all play Doom? I did. Yeah, man. Man, that like that I was did not. No, really. No. It's a PC game, isn't it? No. Well, isn't it? Wait, yeah. wait. You just said isn't it? It know, makes fun of me for saying that all the time. Is that part of your language? Or did you, did no, you I just that's part of that's part of the I, English language, I, isn't I it? Like, right? Well, isn't well it? no, I, I think you're thinking of Inuits because I mean you are from Canada. Oh what? <laughs> what are you saying today, man? <laughs> See, isn't it is like a British thing, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? it is. It? But apparently, it's from colonial uh, India. Oh, Weird. huh? Because Etho makes that like it's a southern thing. Well, have you? Etho makes so many. Verbal right. language. That man can't <laughs> speak the language at all. Man, <laughs> don't you worry about what Ethos says. Yeah, I, 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 I was convinced that it was a Southern thing, isn't it? No, and, see, I, I picked it up by watching things like Doctor Who and Sherlock because they say it in there, and of course, oh, talk with Bash. Good. Blame Good for for all your British. What language I'm speaking anymore, or what dialect of the English language I'm speaking? The best one, right? That's what. That's it, the it, right, it. right, right, <laughs> <laughs> right, mate. Butcher right. is so badly. So you never played any of the Dooms? No, never. That's really? so bizarre. What did you do in school? Uh, Learn was, or something? Uh, <laughs> well, it depends. <laughs> what? When, when was this game released? When was the original Doom released? Oh, the inform- information. We're not good. Ninety-one, maybe. Ninety-one. So I would have been. No, that's years old. Bash. Really? Yeah. Wow, it's 93. Holy crap. 1993. 93. So I would have yeah. been 12. Yeah, so I would have been playing you know, Wolfenstein. I didn't play Doom in school either. I mean, I played the nah, game. Wow. Like, that doesn't sound right. Uh, you were 20 back then? Holy shit, you're fucking old bash. <laughs> there was no, there was no way. <laughs> it was just so bash. Yeah, uh, Castle Wolfenstein was released in 1981. 81? Yeah, that yeah, that's what I was playing in school. Oh my yeah. gosh. And then I the last one was old or this young. 
No, no, there's not 12 years between that and Doom. Well, that's what Wikipedia says, and Wikipedia is never incorrect. I feel like this is wrong. I don't. I agree with Baz. This seems wrong. This well, is not, I mean, I, in '92, I was probably playing Super Nintendo and not Doom on it. I was playing all the Mario stuffs. It's just, this just doesn't. It... First release Doom, December 10th, 1993. 93. Yeah, I was definitely playing Mario World and Mario Kart. And... Yeah, but they had Doom 64. You didn't play that? I, I did not play it. I never. Is that for the Nintendo 64? No, it's for the GameCube. Of course, it's for the <laughs> Nintendo 64. I, I didn't have a Nintendo 64. Really? No, I went from Super Nintendo to uh, the original Xbox. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, there was a Dreamcast in there somewhere. Oh, dude, Dreamcast is so underrated. Yeah. I, remember, I played this on the Jaguar. It wasn't even on the PC. It was on the Jaguar I played Doom. I'm so happy he said Jaguar and not Jaguar. Jaguar? <laughs> Is that a word? It, oh, <laughs> people say it. Is it like what? a really strong piece of wire or something like that? Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's Jaguar. That's what they should have called it. Jaguar. 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 Doom 4 was announced in 2007. Yeah, that's it's for, it's been friggin' forever. It's been in the worst for seven years? Man, it's like DayZ or something. I know. It's, it's no, gonna it's going to be it's, amazing. It's going to be another freaking Duke Nukem. Yes. Yeah, oh, that's, that's honestly what I'm afraid of. Is no, they Duke wouldn't. Um, that. Isn't it id still making it? As long as they're still making it, it's <sighs> safe. I think it's Bethesda, isn't it? Oh, God, we're in trouble. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> but I thought Bethesda and like, id are mm, we're not together. Qualified. Are they? I don't know. Yeah, you're just, you, unless you have the, cro- the, the correct yeah. information. But anyways, oh, man, it was announced at QuakeCon in 2007. Yeah. yeah. QuakeCon, is that still a thing? What did Doom 3 release, like the very first one? That's what we oh, That Doom was 3. August 3rd, 2004. Man, I remember, like, this game brought me onto, like, it, like YouTube wasn't around at the time. I forget, like, where I was watching the videos, but I think back then it was, like, the first time I ever watched, like, reaction videos where people would play Doom 3 and just watch their freaking reactions of them, like, screaming and everything. Was and it a, a like a horror game? Yeah, Doom Three was a mm. spooky game. I always well, thought Doom it was Three a was pitch black, basically. Yeah, but yeah. It, it was also pretty scary at times. Yeah, well, well, it was if you could see it, but I think <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just a, it was a it was it was brutal. Like it was so bad to the point where they had like a mod where it gave you duct tape and a flashlight. Yeah, that's the only way I could play it. <laughs> but like I said, they they fixed that with uh, the Doom Three BFG edition. But I remember the first time. Like, I, this is when I was living up in uh, Yellowknife, which is the Northwest Territories. And during this summer, well, I guess August would be like late fall or late summer, early fall. And up there during the summer, the sun does not set. Like, it goes along the horizon, kind of spins around, then starts rising up again. So you get like no pitch black whatsoever. And I was pissed off. So what I ended up doing, to, like, to actually get immersed was I had to put tinfoil on my friggin' window just so I could get. <laughs> It could be like really pitch black in my room, and so the government wouldn't spy on you. Yeah, that too. I don't want my my thoughts being uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. red. Screw so off. So this QuakeCon still happens every year yeah, in Texas. It does. It's if you knew that, why was I reading all about it? I was like, wonder if this still happens, and you're all talking about tinfoil. <laughs> hey man, can't let the government know. <sighs> I don't even want to talk. Okay, pause. Just just go ahead. I just wanted to bring Twitch plays Pokemon up because it's freaking amazing. Is it amazing, though? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's the first thing we've ever seen on Twitch where the player or the viewers get to control what the hell happens in I've Pokemon got Red. I've got two, two things about this before before Coop goes off on one. First of all, how is Pokemon still going? I mean, when I was a kid, it was going. Yeah. And, and it, was, it, it was for kids. And secondly, how do you do this on Twitch with its bloody minute-long to answer your first question, I didn't realize that Pokemon was out in 1932. <laughs> oh, zinger. <laughs> Shots fired. I will bend you over my knee and spank you. Okay. Among other things. At PAX? Mm-hmm. At PAX? <laughs> he wants a location. <laughs> Can we set up a time, please? The thing that's interesting to me about this is that there's nothing new here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell a story though. about 1932 myself because I made something exactly like this in Twitch TV was around in 1932, guys. Just let you know um, that too. Well, you're the one that used the fucking day in 1932 as an example, asshole. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, he's testy today. Uh, like, all Twitch does for his chat is sends everything to IRC for anyone that doesn't know this. Um, and myself, whenever I was in high school, 
I used to play a MUD. Uh, for those that are not from 1932, MUD stands for Multi-User Dungeon, and it was before there was fast internet, so everybody was playing games that were text-based versions of World of Warcraft or EverQuest or whatever, but it was all text-based, so you could play it over dial-up, and that's why everyone used to play MUDs. And so um, I got really into this mud called Errant Destiny. I've told this story, I think, before. Um, but I, I played for years. And uh, at some point around 97, 98, um, they, they would often reset the world. And I wrote a program to level my character completely without actually being at the computer over a couple of different resets. And so Thanks. I ended up facing off the, 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 the owners of the server because I was, like, level 60 while everyone else was level 10. And they ended up banning me. And so whenever that happened... I ended up starting my own MUD um, and programming it myself, and then I integrated it with IRC, so every IRC channel was its own character on the MUD controlled by the community. So every, like if you were in, like my character name was Laven, for example, and if you were in the channel Laven, every command that was typed would control Laven. So if everyone typed up, Laven would go up ten times, and it's the same exact fucking thing as Twitch Place Pokemon. It's like, to the T, it's the same tech completely. The fact it took someone this long to do it, it blows my mind. Like, I, whenever you guys mentioned it in the Minecraft chat, I didn't even go look at it. I knew instantly what it was. I was like, oh, yeah, Twitch uses IRC. Someone's just controlling the emulator with IRC chat. That's very Jesus, simple. man. I've never, I've, I've never it's heard you so program. fucking hipster until the today. Hipster. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> on a way that took this long to program. Fucking nuts did understand. it before it was cool. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> I just thought it was cool because... It's the first time I've seen it. I'm pretty sure it's the first time a lot of people have seen it. Not many people have played MUDs like you back in the day. There's there's a thing that my dad always used to say to me, which is nothing is new. Nothing, No, nothing is new. I, I thought it was just cool to see it mm. and how popular it is because I see it peak at, at least when I see it, 113,000, which is just I'm, ridiculous. It is crazy how it's popular. I'm just confused as how, why why is it so popular though? Because Pokemon. I don't understand yeah, but- why Pokemon so popular. Okay, Pokemon. I can explain why this is so popular. It's the hive okay. mind. It's, it's community integration into one thing. My question actually is how does this change Twitch? Twitch has already had to give them their dedicated IRC uh, for, for, for their chat. Are they going to continue to support this as everyone does this? Because like I said, there's no way this took more than 20 minutes to program. No. So anyone could do this with any game. It's already being done with every Pokemon game, every Zelda game. Any game that's a top-down view like this can easily be done through an IRC program. So is this something that Twitch is going to continue to support? Where where does the future of streaming lie with something like this? Because in the past, it's always been about community interaction with an actual person. Now it's about the community interacting with a single computer. Is that what Twitch? Is that is that the future of what Twitch wants? It's it. I, I don't know. I well, the thing uh, that pisses me yeah. off is like you said that they dedicate a lot of stuff. Now Twitch chat has been really fucking choppy because of the the chat going on because people are just spamming a or beer up down left or right. You know, so Twitch has been very very spotty for this past week here. No spotty. Who, who's only running? Because this this is something. It's either a fad that would die out quickly, or it's something that will be developed around. I don't like know, games man. made around this technology. Um, if this is something that the world wants to see, and if so, Twitch is going to have to change the, wh- how they support this. Um, I don't think Twitch is making enough. Well, I mean, maybe they are, but I have a feeling they're not making enough money to support thousands of sh- robot streams. Well, this guy has a subscription button, and you can subscribe to him for four ninety nine. So wait a minute, it's not Twitch that's actually running this. It's just no. some guy. Yeah, yeah, some guy made this. He just wrote up a code. Oh. And it's oh, been, it's been going for, uh, for eight days, one hour, 37 minutes, and three seconds. Well, is there any way to find out the average viewer amount? Uh, I don't know. I it's, haven't it's seen like it below 50,000 since day four. Oh I didn't actually God. look at it. I looked at it the first time on day four because I was curious. Like at, at night, it definitely shoots up because there's apparently nothing else to be watched. <laughs> so it, 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 was, it even passed like the law of viewers, which is kind of crazy. And... I still, to me, it's all so weird. Like, okay, so I, if I go into that chat and I type down, and then the player moves down, but there are there are like thirty other um, downs yeah, in the also, chat. You also gotta take in what consideration. Kind of, like, how does that? Uh, there's no gratification there for me as a viewer. No, there's right? not a single person gratification. It's it's the community gratification. It's the fact that that this is being done by all of you. He kind of mm-hmm. messed up the game a little bit because um, there were there, there are points in the game where you can easily reset the progress, and so there were trolls obviously doing that. 
Um, so he added a democracy versus anarchy option where you can vote on those. Now, while that probably would have been a good idea to do prior to releasing it, I don't think changing the dynamic of a game in the middle of it is a good idea. He said he was doing this as a social experiment, and I feel that he may be making changes based on just what the community as a whole is demanding whenever normally people don't know what the fuck they want, especially whenever they're saying it the loudest. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I want to see... Because eventually it's going to have to happen. They're going to end up winning the game, so I'm excited for that day. Well, someone's already made a, a, a similar version that just uses RNG to take yeah, the next commands. Yeah, that's not as fun, though. No, I know, but what I'm saying is it already beat the game. It was doing 100 commands like a second, but it already beat the game. So I'm fairly certain this should be doing more. Well, no, no this is not Well, that's up, the thing. So. He's also lowered the threshold now to 10 seconds per command using democracy. Um, so... Right now, it's every every ten seconds command gets executed, which is a little bit slow, um, even with the forty second twitch delay. I think that uh, one things that hurts this um, is the forty second twitch delay. I think it would be a lot more interesting if you could see You've instant got no interaction. Feedback if it's got that much of a delay. Right, right. right. You don't you don't have a way to interact instantly within the game. Yeah, it really uh, makes no sense. I mean, like I'm pressing if I want to press A here, but I don't want to press A at forty seconds when my time comes up. It's pretty fucking stupid. Right. There's ways around that to some degree, but I don't know. Um, but there's no other streaming service that uses Twitch on the back end for chat that I'm aware of. So I think that you're, unless you're going to create your own uh, subsystem for sending the commands to the game, uh, you would have to use Twitch. The, easy, the easiest way to use Twitch, because you can easily, there's uh, IRC bots that's like making, that's child's play. In all honesty, I, 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 I hope that this is a fad and once they beat the game, it kind of dies down because, like I said, it, it's definitely taken away from the other people who actually want to communicate with their viewers. Because, like I said, the other day I was watching a stream and I could not chat because chat was down due to the Pokemon stream. So, mm. it's kind of... It's it's cool, but it also takes away from the people who want to watch, you know, the people who actually Right. Interact. Well, that's why I was that's why I was talking about what the future of the streaming industry is. Because, yeah. I mean, we had, we had the first... The first thing that felt like a fad was law on Twitch, and that is what has hurt so much video streaming because there's so many law streams and the Twitch can't keep up. And now we have this killing their chat. So between law and Twitch plays Pokemon, they they don't have a service that's worth the fuck anymore. I mean, it's good, but it's also not. I don't think they care because it's like who's competing against them, right? There's no I one, think so they can do anything. That's the problem. Like YouTube, YouTube is the only one I think that could be a decent competitor. The problem with YouTube streaming is the fact you can't just go live if you, you have to schedule your stream. If if, yeah, if they yeah. if they did away with that, I think where you could just go live. I think for why the most they've part, done YouTube that? I don't better. Know. Yeah, I don't know either. I think I don't know. I think that's because of the technology they use for the subscription feed. They need something to send to the subscription feed, um, and when they know what's coming, because whenever you like when you first upload a video, sometimes it don't send it to the subscription feed for fifteen minutes or so. But if it's a scheduled thing, it does send it correctly right away. I think there I, is another streaming service called Hitbox. I have I right, but that's that was owned by owned, and apparently they had they they changed their name because of a lot of drama they had previously with um, uh, ad revenue and stuff like that. So that's it. just a, a rebrand of a previous streaming service that had a lot of drama. So whether or not you want to use Hitbox or not, I don't know. Now, I'm not saying don't use them because I don't have enough information yeah, to know yeah. exactly what happened, just to be clear to anyone listening. This one he's not uh, qualified to say. <laughs> right. <laughs> and sort of keeping with the same theme, there's going to be a new PS4 game called Daylight, which will allow viewers to control the scares via live streaming. It doesn't really dive into it how it's going to work, but I, I don't know. I, 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 I obviously assume that you have to stream. Well, I mean, it's a PS4 game, so you have to stream with your PS4. So I don't know if like the, the stream will have say like scare here or something like that, but at the same time it's like, are you gonna have just rep, like a lot of people come in and spam certain words and make it to the point where it's like a scare every two seconds? Like, I don't That's know. That's exactly what's thing, gonna happen. The thing with horror is if it's just if it's just all in your face all the time, it's not horror anymore. No, right. You need that suspense. You need the long periods of nothing and. It, uh, I mean, I think that's why why amnesia was so good is because you would hear like a sound, but you wouldn't see anything. So you're always at the edge of your seat. But when know, sometimes just, clicking in the distance just pisses you off instead of scares you. I think I think oh if you if you are if you are to to quote air quotes nobody, and you're streaming a game, then you're going to have six people watching you, and then okay, that's going to work. If you're 
you know, Sky or somebody like that and you're streaming it, you're going to have 200,000 people watching it or whatever, then it's just going to be a complete mess. Yeah, I wonder which this is made, like who's this made for in mind? For the streamer or for the average player who wants to stream within the PS4 network and have their parents watch who and knows? get a giggle? Like, I, could, I never thought of that. Yeah. Like, I hope it's not like leading more towards the streamer because I don't think this is going to be a very popular game to stream. I think if they have the feature in, at first it will be, but at the same time, like, how, what's, think- the, what's the time limit? Like, obviously, there's going to have to be a time limit. Is it going to be like every 30 seconds? Like, are you going to be able to time it? Okay, 30 seconds is up. I'm going to get scared. Yeah, that's probably. I mean, if there is a time limit, you can bet that people won't wait longer than that because they want to see themselves influencing the game, right? Yeah. Right. So as soon as they have the opportunity to make to make anything happen in the game, they're going to make it happen. I was all for it at first, but now I'm against it. <laughs> like, I think it's cool that you're able to manipulate your environment and possibly get scared, but I think for, and I'm not saying because I'm big or anything, but like for like any big. You, like streamer, it's not going to be enjoyable. Your weight doesn't matter here, pause. It's okay. Oh, oh. my goodness. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow, guy. My question is, uh, maybe maybe it's made both ways. And do you think they're only making this because of the whole built-in share feature within the PS4? They're trying to utilize that in a way that makes people want to use it. Maybe, but I saw this at PAX East, this game, and there was no yeah. mention of it being... You know? Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. They didn't really know at that time that they were going to have that functionality within the PS4. Isn't this the game that I watched you play in that little dark area? No, I was I was gonna play this, but I it was like the last day, and I was too tired to do anything. Uh, speaking of PAX East, our panel has been confirmed. Oh yeah, we forgot about on that. The dock, right, that should have been on the dock. Right. right. <laughs> um, and it's on the 12th of that's a Saturday in April. Um. <laughs> And it's at 10.30 a.m. What made me think of is you were talking about being tired. I was like, man, our fucking panel's at 10.30 in the morning on a Saturday. <laughs> we're, gonna be, yeah. we're all going to be hungover, except for MC Gamer. That is uh, uh, bad timing. It is. Yeah. We're all going to be up there. All right. Um, question. Our list. Do we have a list? But we don't have a, we don't have a Friday night party this time. So. That is true. That will be nice. Um, I don't know when the Twitch party is. I know we were invited to that. Were uh, we? Yeah. Let's go. Trade list. Well, yeah, might as well. Why not? Um, what's the list? Maybe, maybe while we, while you look for the list, we can talk about something that's very, very exciting for good. I got the list. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's okay. the exciting we, part. The, it, it, we are on the main stage, are we not? I don't know that for certain. I believe so. When I looked at the picture, uh, oh, fuck. the Trump stage. It looks like the large stage. Well, I know it's one hundred percent. We're being streamed. They've already confirmed we're being streamed. So if you aren't able to make it, we will be streamed. Um, uh, I, I, I feel sick all made. of a sudden. <laughs> Pax gets it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pax gets it. For anyone who doesn't get it, well, Pax does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyways, all right, the list, myself, BTC, Jay Sano, MC Gamer, Badge, Nebris, Pause, Seth Bling, Vintage Beef, and Zisto, and Wes Wilson is going to moderate it for us. And Etho. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Etho will totally there. be there. He'll just be in the front row. He's like, <laughs> scared. We're not going to tell you which one it is. No. Yeah. Just go up and kiss everyone on the front row. <laughs> and then you can say, I kissed Etho. You won't know which one it was. Well, you can say it. And- the herpes. And then you, you yeah, just don't wash your mouth true. ever. Don't brush your teeth. Don't fa- wash your face. Just keep it as it is forever. Good. You excited? About what? Google Fiber has chosen nine metro areas for possible expansion and your I'm area. I'm so tired of seeing this fucking tweet. What? It's like, yeah, it's it's one of those things that you get tired of really quick whenever people tell you, hey, guy, two hours north of you, they're going to have fiber internet. It's like fucking <laughs> great. Everybody could be naked up there, too. Don't do me any fucking good. Can't you just run a line or something? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. <laughs> hey, look what's at the side of this, at least right now. Watch ours video, the bizarre, mind-numbing, mesmerizing beauty of Twitch Plays Pokemon. Uh, it's at the side of this one. Great. I wish I played um, certain. It's a well. phenomena. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well... It, I guess the good thing is I was actually thinking about maybe renting an office space in Raleigh if this happens. We'll see what happens. 
How do I am excited. These? It is good news that it's somewhere near me, I guess. Yeah, how do they choose these places, though? And why not they, Canada? Seven years ago, they did a, a vote. Um, if you want Google Fiber in your area, let us know. And I know I definitely voted at that time. It was during the first Minecon, I remember, because Co mentioned it to me. We were eating out, and he was like, hey, Google, just put a thing to vote. You, sorry, what? Oh. You and Co are what? <laughs> Co star, just to be clear. What, what were you guys doing? We were eating out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? God, you're a juvenile. <laughs> we didn't play any horror games though. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> we're mature. Is that your horror? So I wanna, I wanna go back to the, the panel. Okay. Um, so You are going back, aren't you? You're gonna be there? Yeah, I'm gonna be there. Uh I don't know. This I, I was just thinking of this. You know nice. how at like the previous PAXs we did like meetups and everything? Are we going to do anything like that this this time? No, fuck the people, man. Let's just get bodyguards and just be like, no, fuck you. I'm, talking to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm just scared because obviously with a lot of people, there's going to be a lot of people who... I want a tall skinny guy in sunglasses behind me. All right, I'll, I'll get skinny. I'll stop eating until April. Well, a lot of people have asked for us to do a meetup outside of PAX. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. Know, like, I think it really depends on the weather, though. I know last time we were there, it was fucking cold as balls. I didn't go outside. Well, it was also March. So. Right, but I mean, this is the like the first week of April, so it's not yeah, like oh, it's it's a second day. week. Okay, it's the twelfth. Oh yes, you're correct. God, well, hey, maybe it'll be warm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think we can make a decision like that this early well, it's, on. It's, it's it's snowing there at the moment, so yeah. I don't know. Like all the all the last meetups that we've done were always like last minute decision. It was just like, yeah, hey, uh, we're gonna do a meetup out here. And then, of course, we woke up hungover and almost, almost missed what a meetup. It was bad. I'm looking forward to attending my first convention. Your convention convention? Yeah, yes. I don't think uh, Minecon really counted. Yeah, no. that's what I mean. Convention convention. Minecon is just Minecon. Me too. Me too. If we can do it hand in hand. Yes. Is this your first batch? It's not Minecon? Yeah. Really? I think so. No, no multi-game convention, I think, there. Oh, you guys, you're you going to have so much fun at PAX. It's a lot of fun. Especially While we're talking about games. conventions, the, the tickets for Wes's thing supposed to be on sale soon. And I keep calling it Wes's thing. It's really not Wes's thing. Wes is just the the person running a lot of the behind the scenes. <laughs> it's not Wes's thing. Wes is just the guy responsible for all the things that are going right. on. Right. I mean, but he's, he, you know, it's not his convention. He's, he's yeah. being paid, I guess, I assume. I don't, I don't, I don't know any details about the man's personal life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask him. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. Come um, on. But uh, anyways, I think tickets are going to sell. Again, it's in Atlanta. I need to give you a link because I actually have a link to where you can buy up to 100 tickets. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah, they sent us out 100 tickets. I'm like, I don't even know 100 people, man. And especially, I don't know 100 people that want to come to Atlanta to see me. Um, but yeah, they sent us out 100 tickets, and I have a link where you can buy them early through me. I don't get anything for it, so don't don't feel obligated. You I'm and BTC. At all. <laughs> Again, dude, it's you and BTC. Oh, right, right, right. Well, Seth, Seth's there, too. Seth Blaine's going to be there? Yeah, Seth Blaine, Captain Sparkles, Aurelian, um, some guys from Smosh, uh, Total Biscuit. Some of you guys from The Creatures. Um, yeah. Just Sly, though, I think, from Creatures. Is Basher in The Creatures? No. Okay, Basher will be there. Oh, <laughs> you know what else we could talk about? The female hockey team winning gold. Suck it, yeah! dude! Suck it! Not that he knows. No, he doesn't care. He didn't even know there was a hockey game today. Did you watch it, Beef? Uh, oh, I watched. Well, I watched the second and third and overtime. I didn't. I missed the first. Oh, game. how stressful was that game? My God. Oh, oh Chewy. I mean, <laughs> we, uh, okay. We can probably spoil it, right? Yeah. Did you, uh, Chewy. Like, what was what? that? <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, Pat. <laughs> you, you know you do, do you know about Chewy? Chewy. Chewy, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right, that's that one. guy. I can't do ch chewy voice. So the Canadian national <laughs> women's team was down two nothing with like three and a half minutes to go. They scored tw two goals in the last three minutes to tie it up, and then they won in overtime. Oh my god! god. You were saying, dude, the 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 puck that got away and almost trickled into that empty net and just hit the oh, post. Lord, I almost had a fucking panic attack. I there. peed a little. <laughs> and then, of course, in the last in the overtime when, uh. Uh, who was it again? What's the name? Uh, Wickenheiser. Jesus fucking Christ, Bash. We don't yawn every single time you talk. Haley Wickenheiser. Yeah, yeah, she almost had a breakaway. She did that have a breakaway. Dude, that should have been a Sorry. 
I'm excited. <laughs> Too anyway, much. congrats to them. Very. Oh, wait. By the time this goes up, we will we'll, we will have known who won the um the Canadian men's game. Yep. Yeah, the men's game. You said the Canadian versus game. Canada. Yeah, well, it's hockey. It's a Canadian game. Yeah, get the fuck uh, out of here. <laughs> the women's wasn't a Canadian game. Yeah, yeah. All of them are Canadian games. As long as it's hockey, it's Canadian games. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Canadian men's, I meant to say. But oh man, I, oh well. I well, congrats Canada for winning. <laughs> oh God. Then cut this part out. If they lose, we'll okay. just say. Um, I'll, I'll 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 bring it down and re-edit and then re-upload. Hey, right. Well, let's let's. Uh, congrats to Canada's opponent. Ah, oh, can't believe they lost. Defeating them. <laughs> or we could just leave both in, and we could be right and wrong at the same time. Therefore, nullify what we just said. So mostly wrong. Yeah, we're always wrong. Glad you brought that up. Pause. I'm very excited. <laughs> Still super happy about it. Mm-hmm. It was an emotional moment. Now for more, more emotional moments, let's have some questions. Hmm. Hey, guys. <gasps> oh, God, you're so boring, Badge. <laughs> <laughs> I have a really weird question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, in fairness, it, it is quarter past three in the morning. I've been up since half past nine. Questions, let's go. <laughs> How do you feel when you know that you've saved people's lives? Like, literally, they have stayed alive because they knew the, your videos were there for them in troubled, tough times. Also, I'd like to thank you guys for saving my life as well. Stay awesome, and thanks for the videos. This is uh, this puts a lot of pressure on us. It's, <laughs> it's like, oh, your videos were there through my tough time, but what if I skip a day? Is that the day? Uh, is that the day? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is too much pressure. I don't know. It, it's... It really is an overwhelming thought to process mm-hmm. at times. Like we're like you'll get like a personal message on in your inbox saying that we've literally saved them from killing themselves or something like that. And I don't know. It's it's tough and it's scary to also it's, think about. It's good, but I think the, the thing is, it's not to put pressure on yourself no, about no. it. No, um, I mean I've had that, and it's 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 nice to nice to have, but. You can't think about it. Yeah, I don't know, try not to. But it's it's awesome if we're actually doing it. Of course, mm-hmm. uh, that's it's kind of unbelievable, really. I never thought we'd I'd ever be in a position to say only end that lives. We've done that, yeah. Pause, <laughs> oh, growing yeah. up, Paz always thought he was going to end lives. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, Bad. Nothing. No, no, no? Okay. I, I got nothing. All right. Thank you, Bunny Loyalist. Hey, guys. Last week, you talked about Flappy Bird. And on Saturday, the creator decided to take the game off the App Store due to negative feedback and it ruining his life with his $50,000 a day. What do you think about this? Thanks for answering. Well, you added the $50,000 a day in there. I'd like to say that that number came from some guy pulling it out of his ass at one news station. And just like Kurt's shit, suddenly they're going to the far worlds. So that number is not based on any actual factual anything. And just anyways. I think there was a little bit lost in translation with with the comments he was getting. I I believe so too. Yeah, because I saw some of the tweets at him. And you could kind of see they were being sarcastic. I mean, they're not really telling the guy, your game ruined my life. They're just saying your game is so addictive and I love it so much yeah. that all I do is I want to play it. And the guy kind of took that personal and he's like, oh, my God, I don't want to ruin anybody's lives. I think right. it sucks to see that happen, though. Like, I, I, I wish there's someone like maybe a friend or someone like translating it and saying how like it's sarcastic or something like that. I I don't know. I just hate to see someone's hard work. It's I, you may argue that it's not hard work, but, you know, it, it is something that he did work on. Yeah. And well, it was idea. a popular game in. Mm-hmm. It sucks that some negative feedback, you know, whether it be sarcastic or not, yeah, it sucks that in the end he had to take it down because of that. He didn't think, have to take it down. He could have left it well, up. The, I think. Yeah. The, I think the telling thing here is that he would rather not have the money than to continue dealing with that. Yeah, and I'm sure he was. I mean, there was, he probably received legitimate trolly. Well, yeah, because emails. of the things that were close to like Mario games and stuff, there was yeah. a lot of stuff there that looked like straight ripoffs. I mean, but I, this probably just happened way too fast for him, you know, like all at once. Well, that's the I funny know, thing. Everyone talks about how the game was only out a week, and that's not true. The game had been out for a while. It just suddenly blew up. Yeah, it just blew up really quickly. Like being, I don't know if I would be able to handle some of the things 
and you guys, I'm sure as well, if you just started YouTube like a week ago, for instance, and then all of a sudden you're instantly in the hundreds of thousands of subscribers, the things you'd get, I don't know if you'd be able to handle it. I don't, I don't know if I would. No. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think that that's happened to some Minecrafters even because later, like people like Vex, I'm not saying this has happened to Vex, I'm just saying he's an example of someone that joined and went from you know, 60,000 subs to 200,000 subs in a matter of a month. Yeah. Um, and you know, I think that's sometimes overwhelming whenever you have so many new voices all trying to push you different directions. I know whenever Zisto joined us, he didn't get that kind of boost. He got a boost, but the boost, a lot of people were like, oh my god, use a texture pack, because he used to yeah. always play with a texture pack, and he ended up changing because of that, um, because the voices were just overwhelming. Yeah, I And think that's last last time I wrote, with the Twitch Plays Pokemon, he's made changes to the game because the voices are overwhelming, yeah. and I just think that it's unfortunate to see something that you're passionate about get developed by the community. Hell, we've done it with Play Minecraft. We added an, a, a plug-in to uh, survival games that we all didn't, we all 100% thought that it was not worth adding, it was always going to call problems, but the community... Fucking just flip shit. You must have anti cheat. So we added it, and now they're 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 doing the opposite. Remove anti cheat. It's got to be false positive. It's like, well, no fucking shit. We said that before we fucking added it. Um, but now we're trying to tweak it to make it work. And but they just want immediately remove. And it's like some things you just can't listen to your community because they don't know what they want, and they think they know what they want, but they don't know all the ins and outs of it. They just like how it sounds. I think sometimes. Yes, mm -hmm. the customer is always right. Is not always right. That well, was profound. I like to. Yeah. Let's make one out. day, a long time Ooh. after I'm dead, people are going to remember my little quips. <laughs> that won't happen. <laughs> <No. laughs> so, hi guys. Put them on like tea bags or something. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. That's what Pause is going to get out of packs. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Hi. Also, I because Goop brought it up, I had to look for the uh, release date of Flappy Bird. And Flappy Bird was originally released on May 24th, 2013. So See, a year. Flappy Bird was not a particularly well-coded game. It didn't work. I, I think it was just a, a just a project thing for him, wasn't it? I don't think it was necessarily a committed, I'm a game developer, I'm going to make a game that's, nah. that's really good. It was just a practice game that he released that, for some reason and went absolutely mental and it's not an original idea but a long shot there's all these people going oh it's not a helicopter because you've got to click press the screen or something it's fundamentally the same damn game yeah he just right place at the right time what do you think made it big all of a sudden yeah. i honestly think it was the negative criticism for the ripoff of um mario ip I think that's what made it big. I think a lot of people caught on yeah, the Yeah, but how, how come it took it. so long? Because, like, the Android, it says the Android version of Flappy Bird was released to Google Play on January 30th, 2014. Yeah, I just think that the right person picked it up. Kind of like, yeah. you know, um, I'm sure that those My, fun guys are, are doing great right now because, I mean, not doing great, but I'm sure that they, I'm sure that they saw something positive from their stupid negativity in the, the recent issue. Yeah, they were really dumb. Fun creators, you guys are dumb. <laughs> you guys shot no. yourself with a foot. Breaking news. <laughs> they honestly probably made more money during that time period than they were making prior to that. I wish we could <laughs> see like sales numbers for that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, uh, and, I don't. and for those who are wondering what we're talking about, Total Biscuit had something to do with Fun Creators. Or he did a video of Fun Creators, Fun Creators took it down. And then drama happened. Woo! Wow, they lied. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but don't just, lie on the internet. Just Google. Google creators lie. Just Google it. Just to clear up who who we're accusing of lying. Mm -hmm. Anyway, before we get uh, a letter from a lawyer, <laughs> hi guys. Do you really want to listen to another obligatory thank you? Love you. Yes. If you do, you <laughs> yes. can add it in. Would be feel my favorite mic record. Oh Good. yeah. Thanks for starting up the server for all of you. Pause. Do more cups with beef. They're amazing. <laughs> You're really boring on your own, boss. <laughs> Sorry. So beef, beef's too big to do cups with us now. I, mean, uh, I do cups with pause and eat them all the time. I do cups with people I like. Oh, uh, oh! oh. oh they're amazing. Right. Badge, we all love you. Guest, if you are there, I'm assuming you're a great guy. But I don't know who you are right now. Anyway, on to the question. Oh, now he says you could have skipped that stuff if you wanted to. <laughs> 
Have any of you guys ever had braces, the ones for your teeth? If so, could you share some <laughs> best plots you planned for the dentist? Also, what does salad mean to you? What? Thanks again. I... Don't get burnt out videos. Continue talking. Your voices are amazing. Thanks. And yeah. I've only had braces on my penis. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just a, a specify brace. the ones for your teeth. <laughs> Or she. I think Anya is probably a girl. Um, I did have braces. I had a bridge, too. Did you guys either have bridge, a bridge or braces? No. Well, it's, the, it's the bridge when you've got a missing tooth. No. It's basically if, you're, if, a, if you're, um, y- your mouth, I guess, is too narrow or like the, your teeth, your jaw or <laughs> Do you something? ever get teased? Narrow mouth? So your, narrow mouth. Mouths, narrow yeah. mouth. So, so you get like this thing that basically covers your your teeth at the top and then there's like a little tool that you use to and every night my mother would do it because i was really young when i had it she would like spin like a little screw inside of my mouth and it would widen my mouth and it was painful that sounds fucking terrible it was bad i hated it wow your mouth was stretched out to hold more cop (laughs) no 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 (laughs) No, no, it wasn't <laughs> that. <laughs> it's because um, it was so narrow that teeth were sort of like growing on top of each other. Uh huh. So they had to stretch oh. out, make room for more teeth. Uh huh. You have like rows of, of teeth. teeth. You're like a damn shark or something. You have like no, no, there weren't. There weren't like you got your outer teeth and your inner teeth and your inner inner teeth. <laughs> they weren't one behind the other. They were sort of like um, angled. It was weird. It was really painful though. I don't recommend. I'm just gonna it. go with the cock story. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 British. We don't have dentists. No. <laughs> teeth? teeth? Do you have teeth left? <laughs> he has he has a tooth. <laughs> a single tooth. I I, oh, never, I, 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 I had the option <laughs> when, when I was Oh my god, he's just you. <laughs> I, 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 I had the option when I was a kid of having uh braces and to do it we need to take four teeth out. You know, uh, yeah, I had to do that. I had to take six corners. out. And my mother Ooh. said to me, Do you want that? And I said, No, I don't want that. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. And that was the end of that. I didn't get the option to pick. I had to take six teeth out. Jesus. Screw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get, like, all the fronts with the cock. <laughs> Have you got any teeth there? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Did you put all those teeth under, the, under your your pillow? No. And get the, like, a, like a crisp $100 bill for all your teeth? No. The dentist actually gave them to me. And I remember taking them home, but I lost them in the car on the way home. So somewhere what? out there, somewhere out there, there's a Mazda 626 Kronos. With six teeth in it. How did you lose all six? Were they like in your hand? You hit a bump and they just went flying? Into the <laughs> oh, radiator? They gave it in like in a little, uh, I guess, paper towel, really. And I just had them all in that paper towel. And I lost them in there. And then when I got home, I wanted to show my mom. I was like, Mom, look at my teeth. And they're gone. I my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably more like that. Droll falling everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> he can't close his mouth because it's been cranked too wide. <laughs> that was before the cranking. <laughs> All right. Yeah. See, for me, Long I had I had like this whole weird thought in my head that braces were cool, and I was hoping what? like one day I'd go to the dentist and they'd be like, "Hey, Alex, you need to get braces." And I'd been like, "Oh yeah, really? Braces were cool." I knew this girl uh, before I got braces. She had headgear. Oh man. <laughs> Oh yeah, she got picked on so bad. That's uh, it's oh, no, head no. water. It's it weird because I was day. I always had crushes on girls who had braces. Me too. I had crushes. It's so I was so weird. for you guys to stop. I was gonna say the same thing. I always had a, a braces fetish. I mean, I grew because, out of that. But because for some reason, braces. that's when I was in like middle school and early high school. Braces were like I don't know why either. It's like it's really mm, weird. All that food stuck in those metal things on your teeth. Yeah, so attractive. I could have lunch twice. Mm. So what the hell does salad mean to you? It, I um, think that this is referring to the... I issue. know what it means. I love you, Beef. What? <laughs> All right. Let's continue. Uh, I'll, let, I'll let you just absorb that, Beef. Just, I don't think I exactly. want to absorb don't, anything don't even, from you. Don't, oh. I, I'm familiar with my open dictionary. <laughs> well, hey, in the good news, Beef, his mouth is plenty wide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No screws needed for this one, baby. It's all relative. Oh, there's still screws involved, just not the way you. Would. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 
Yeah, let's move on. Um, <laughs> hello, Mike Crackers. Love all your videos. What is your guys' opinions on Justin Bieber and the recent stupid things he's been doing, such as drag racing while drunk and high, or releasing pictures of him biting a stripper's nipple with his friend? I know talking about him just makes him more famous, but I'm curious to see what you guys think. Aaron. Well, she just hit it on the... Or, oh, is that a boy or a girl? I've never seen that spelling of Aaron. Anyways, yeah. they hit the nail on the head there. I mean, this is all, this is how Madonna, this is how, this is how that industry works. You do things, people talk about you, people yeah. buy your album. We really should. should start just making sex tapes, pause. Okay. And accidentally releasing them. Whoops, oh my goodness, you can see my peenie. See, I don't know. Really <laughs> s- <laughs> 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 uh. I fucking hate that the fact that this guy is on national news when there's shit like what's happening in Ukraine that's not even being yeah. televised. Why is this fucking asshole on here? Get the fuck- He's a fucking millionaire. Who fucking cares? Just get him out of here. I don't want to see him on news. <sighs> that's that's not fucking it's newsworthy. That's where it. he refused to stop smoking pot and the pilot like got all pissed off and like shut the door because he was scared he was getting a contact high and they just wouldn't stop. And they like the uh, the DEA searched his plane whenever they landed in the United States, but they couldn't find anything. They could just smell it, they smoked it all, I guess. Like um, I remember when I w- this was on like close to Valentine's Day. I was I was in the hospital because of my broken thumb. I was I was getting there. I was like talk about news and it's like so what's Justin B we're gonna be doing on Valentine's Day? Well, he's gonna be making a court appearance. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, what the fuck is this news? Stupid. Yep. I hate life. This is dead, man. The Fashion. thing is, when, when yeah, when, when somebody who's getting that sort of money and is getting in the public eye like, should these people that are promoting him should be pushing him as a role model. And I think it's drunk case drunk of- driving. Drunk driving, whatever, yeah. is never going to be socially acceptable. Mm-hmm. I think it's another case of too much, too fast. That's all it is. If he if he had gradually uh, acquired all this wealth and fame, then none of this probably would have happened because he would have learned to deal with it a lot better. But it just he just, it just got all dumped on him really quickly. It started through YouTube, man. Yeah, it's YouTube. It's the worst. I'm afraid. I didn't know. By the way, beef. I did not know about. There's pictures of him biting a stripper's nipple. I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah, and some people have edited out the stripper because it's him and his friend, and they've edited out the stripper, and it just looks like him and his friend are just making out. <laughs> it's much better, that picture. Nice. Well, um, how does that work? Because I thought if you touched a stripper, you get beaten up and thrown out. I'm pretty sure if what? you're Justin Bieber, you're allowed to touch any stripper. Yeah. Wow, well, it doesn't seem fair, does it? No. That's <laughs> <laughs> pissed. Yeah. So hi, Podcrackers. I just wanted to ask you guys two quick questions. Since I've never done this before as I'm typing this, I feel nervous. Anyway, back to the question. If any of you could create a mod in Minecraft, what would it be? Also, it could include adding item commands or changing the performance of the game. Also, can you guys try to memorize each and every Minecracker's name? I managed to pull it off on my first try. Yes. Badge and Paws are my favourite out of the four of you. Ah, you can't see it now, but I'm putting up the Vs at you. I've always wanted you guys alone to do a series together. Yeah, do a series together. What, you mean like Wasteland? Or? <laughs> Wasteland? What was that, like Wasteland. three episodes? No, it was a while no, ago. They did, they did a lot of episodes and something. Yeah. Was it yeah, we one recently, but then my recording failed. So yeah. Thanks for reading my question, and bye, Brenda. Bye. They're all women today. Mm-hmm. Not, not the last not the, one. Last was George, unless George is a woman. Can be Georgina. Last one. Oh, the last Ooh. question. Okay, yeah. I thought you meant the one previous. No. Well, um, I don't know. Water bear. H two O bear. Huh? That's your mod, water bear. No, <laughs> there's a name H two O. We're talking about mods. I don't know about mods. There's so there's. I I doubt there's a mod out there that hasn't been created. Vertical half slabs. Yes, that, please. That exists. That exists in in mods. Yes. Please bring out anything else other than more building updates. No, no, no. We're not. We're not asking. This is what mod would you create? Pause. We're not asking Dinnerbone to add things to the game. You're just you. You want more yeah. building mods? No, no, no. Yes, I do personally. You know, what I want. I want there to be like some sort of like random quest generator you where go. you go talk to like a villager and he gives you a quest, and you know whether it be like go go get like five fl- five flowers, you bring it back, and then he's like, well. 
this guy's been really bothering me, and then it like generates like this random boss, and you gotta go kill him. And it always goes dungeon. back to murdering with boss. It'd be cool. It'd be like, hey, this guy has been ravaging our town. He's been stealing all yeah, our wheat. Yeah, I could tell you to and, RPG. Yeah, Climbing through your windows. Yeah, like. well, something like that would be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think that exists. That's the problem with this question: is everything already exists? Yeah, I agree. I want to mod that image I just linked into the game. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my um, god! <laughs> Not with this. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, we, Dude, what are you looking at? <laughs> we, <laughs> we cannot <laughs> link that. We cannot <laughs> link right that. Now. You gotta watch the entire thing. Is there more? I didn't watch the entire thing. <laughs> it's bad. It's well, yeah, spraying it's bad. everywhere. <laughs> So Wait, much uh, spraying. Yep. I'm going to remove that just so you don't link in the dock by accident. I'm not going to link it in the dock <laughs> by accident. Ooh, actually, control V and control V that into the podcast. Uh, so can you guys memorize each and every Minecracker's name? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, me too. Okay. I can oh, tell you their first name. You guys want a BTC's first name? No, I'm not. <laughs> Matilda. <laughs> Matilda? It's Alfred. Ooh, I like that one. Let's do the same as somebody else on the server anyway. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. But you don't know everybody else's names, so you never know. Is he the only... I think he's the only one whose name's not out there, isn't it? Isn't it? So. Uh, oh, yeah, I can see there's names not there. Pack rat? Depends. Has he really not said his name? I guess not. Yeah. Okay. I don't know his name even. Oh, really? No. Huh. You want to know? Let's say it right now on the podcast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, somebody is having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Are they really going to say it? No, we're not. Next question. Hi, Podcrackers. And thank you for ask answering my question. I recently watched a video about why we get nervous. So I was wondering <laughs> if you guys get nervous before recording a video. Good. Live streaming. Good. Or big event at convention. Good. good. If so, how do you cope with the stress? Good. He does not <laughs> <laughs> Fetal position on a sofa, I believe. People keep sending me that video. You know what? I bet I know who this George is. I think I follow him on Twitter. Damn guy with his Google Glass. Um, <laughs> oh, I know that guy too. Yeah, we met him at Minecon. I, yep. that's, I think his name is George. Hold on, let's is that see. Him? I'm looking. No, his name's not George. Dude, I remember, I remember your big nervous face on the fucking screen at the closing ceremonies. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even that nervous. For I that. know, I know, but I, 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 th I don't know. You just, you look nervous as all. You guys, you guys didn't see him before the panel in the waiting room. Yeah, I was not nervous. I was having a breakdown. Is what yeah, I. Yeah, I witnessed it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was just lack of sleep. Like, I mean, we literally went five days and got nine hours of sleep in a yeah. five day period. That's not things humans should be it's doing. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. No, and you should also not drink at least a gallon of tequila in that time either <laughs> or so. get moonshine in your eye <laughs> did i get moonshine in my eye yeah you don't remember that no i don't i didn't drink <laughs> moonshine in the room i got it in my eye i bet that burned like hell <laughs> <laughs> how do you not remember that I, I, I vaguely remember the whole thing like someone told me that uh um evil ethel was there and it like it took me a minute i was like oh yeah i do remember seeing him like that whole week was just a blur man there wasn't enough sleep there was too much stress he was there yeah i remember oh. i remember talking to him in the hall briefly yeah, he was there he, he gave he gave me bacon flavor oh gum. yeah i remember that now yeah yeah that whole weekend was just a blur yeah, just a blur man i don't remember having i remember putting that shit in my eye at pax prime that wasn't moonshine but it burned just as bad i bet <laughs> What did I do about the? When did this happen? It had to happen in the room after we came back from Orlando, right? It was, yeah, yeah. Hey, I forget things. It was one, it's when we had back. like one of our, our our meetings and meeting slash drinking, and you yeah, took a swig of moonshine you were, and you way too drunk at that point, didn't we? You drink all that. Someone gave us moonshine, by the yep. way. The Jimmy, party. Jimmy. Yeah, it wasn't like legitimate moonshine. It was made with Everclear, but it was. Still... Oh, was that 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 beardy guy? Yeah. 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 Zombie I think me and Doc is the only yeah. one that actually drank it, though. And apparently no, I, I, I had a shot. Dude, my whole body went fuzzy after that. <laughs> it was weird. It went fuzzy? Like, a yeah, fur? like warm and fuzzy is weird. Was that at the party? Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no that was uh, like the next night. After, after yeah. the, we went to the park and yeah. had magics. And then came back to the room and drank 
Moonshine. Yeah, it, was in, it was in the hotel room. Yeah. At like three in the morning with people upstairs. Did we piss off three. anyone? I don't know. Okay. I'm sure we did. I'm fairly sure we did, but who knows? How did you think the, the hotel room was full of cardboard? Oh, no, it was, it was that was not. That, that was before that, yeah. No, no one was in my room once it was full of cardboard. There was no room for anything. No. Uh, and that convention was the worst. We should never go to another Minecon. <laughs> too much. It's too much. You get too nervous. <laughs> we should oh, perhaps man. stop drinking at Minecon. That might be the better idea. Yeah, I hey, that that whole convention was not a blur to me. I remember things. Well, yeah, the guy that slept until the convention was over on the first day. Hey, I'm here, guys. Oh, there's only 30 minutes left at the con. Well, I'll find <laughs> some stuff for 30 minutes. Well, I mean, come on. That was after... I know you you made it through the whole night, but that was after we spent the night setting up, too. I know that. I was a tired um, guy. I was spent the too. night with Goode. Uh, yeah. That, oh, that kind man. Of yeah. That, uh, sleeping. That's well, no, only, no, we didn't uh, sleep, man. After the party, yeah. me and B came back to the... Because we had, we had to set up our statues at the convention center. And uh, Dinner Bowl said he, he was going to meet us at, like, what, 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Yeah, or something yes, in there? something like that. So and it we was, like, just what? went through the whole night. We, we yeah. drove the truck full of cardboard men. And unloaded the truck in front of the convention hall, dragged everything in there, set everything up, and then by the time we got back to the back to the room, it was probably close to ten or eleven, something like the opening ceremony had already happened at that point. Yeah, and then I just I, I crashed. Like I, I was fully intending on only sleeping a couple hours, but I slept to like four o'clock, and the convention I think that day finished at like five. So yeah, I missed <laughs> the like whole day. day one. All it was was where's beef, good, good, where's beef? Your beef set, good. I'm like, he's in sleep. He doesn't care about you. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Unsub. Yep. <sighs> I needed my sleep. Yeah, I Especially I since the night before, I could not sleep at all because of your dang snoring. It is really as bad as people say. It's legendary. <laughs> so, yes, how do you guys deal with stress? <laughs> Back to the question. You know, everyone keeps leaving me this video and I still haven't watched it, so I don't really know what it's 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 about maybe i should watch it since everyone keeps linking it to you. maybe it is like and i have a huge epiphany and it changed my life completely i don't know it's not i've always been like that though in groups of people i'm just I'm, i have social tics i think everyone has some type of social tick right mm-hmm. i'm worried because my wife does too and i think my daughter is just gonna be fucked up <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> it's- like like for instance today we lay her down for the nap and she had to get up and clean her room before she would lay down for her nap. Like, we had already, we laid her down for the nap, and we, we come in here, and we hear her get up, and we're like, what's she doing? Is she playing? No, she was cleaning. Room had to be clean before she could sleep. My mate's got a three-year-old daughter, and all she does is pick up things and put them in bags. She's got, like, <laughs> tons and tons of handbags and stuff, and yeah, he says, they will go around there, and they'll open up her bag, and there'll be another bag in there, and inside that bag is a... Uh, you know, a block or a piece of Lego or something. He's, he's just like, she's a back lady. That's what kids do. Yeah. They're just it's, tidy. That's all. It, I've only ever been around young. Like this, that's going to sound really weird. <laughs> 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 I've only ever been around children that are boys normally in my life. Cause Does all it sound any better? No, I know, but it would sound better than young boys. Yes. What I was about to say. <laughs> I've only ever um, been around young just boys. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But for some reason, everyone in my family's always had boys. So that's like my, my my brother or something like that. It's the only kids I've ever been around when they were Way growing. Way to break the tradition, asshole. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's something that's sexually ingrained. That Because the same thing with my daughter. She has to have bags. Like, if we go out shopping, she has to have one of the bags on her arm and carrying it. It's like, I don't know. That's weird. Don't get it. It's kind of adorable. You should take pictures. Sure. Post it on YouTube. <laughs> You Jasper sent me a bunch of um, stuff uh, for from their store, and she loves all that stuff, man. I don't, I, I know Who that's did? like a transition, but it's like all this papercraft stuff, and oh. she's not enough to put together the papercraft, but she really likes breaking it out of the like mold and then handing it to us and saying help, and then we put it together and she plays <laughs> with it. So. Help, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we didn't really answer the question, but I don't think there is a good answer to this question. No, you just Ben and Grer, Grant, Ben and Grer. It. There you go. Yeah, like <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Have you ever gotten nervous before recording or anything like that? Before recording, I used to really bad. Yeah. I went through a period of time early in my channel where all I did was drink before I recorded. Most of my early recordings, I was drunk in some way, not necessarily completely drunk, but um, I would calm my nerves a little bit by just not a- sober. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, that's like double OG. That's that's pretty much how we we just took it too far eventually. But that's pretty much how every recording session went. We we're like, all right, let's set a time and give me an hour beforehand so we can pre drink. Like we we planned pre drinking for double OG sessions. The only time I really get nervous before recording is there's only one series, and I think you guys know which one. No. No. Hockey. You the UHC. Oh, UHC. Oh, oh my god. Much? I don't get nervous for that. I get fucking excited. I love it. I'm so nervous. I, I liked it so better this goofed. last season with uh, with other people doing the majority of the work. I mean, I still had to run this the the like start the server and stuff like that, but I didn't have to worry about the map or that type of stuff. So yeah, I think that's the new norm. I'm not making See, that anymore. I, I d- I've never really gotten nervous about recording or streaming. Streaming is like one of the things I I love doing, but if we're doing a panel. Yeah. That's when I get nervous, because oh, legitimately all eyes are on you. For some and reason, I don't get nervous for the panels. I don't know why that is, but I don't. What? Yeah, I don't, man. Like, I wasn't nervous for this panel at MineCon. I was just having some kind of weird. I was. I don't know why I was crying, man. I was just crying. I'm not scared of the people, and I've been in front of more people than at that panel. The PAX, the PAX East panel last year had more people in it than that one did. So, like, I don't know, man. I don't know why I was freaking out before this panel this last year. See, but now that you said that we might have, I, I, I hope we don't have a big stage in PAX. I'm all scared. There's less of us too, isn't there? Yeah. Bigger there's stage, less. less people. No, there's still ten of us, dude. There was yeah, all but that's still more people for an hour long panel. See, than we'd really want this. This is how bad I get nervous. I'm already worried about that that panel. <laughs> all right. I hate it. I hate doing. I like. I love doing panels, but I hate that you guys are there. If you guys could like. I'll bring like a laptop and look at it while we're talking to you. That'd be awesome. <laughs> or I'll bring my laptop and I'll just look at the screen. Pretend I'm doing like a, a live stream. I don't ever make con- eye contact with the crowd. And I know you're supposed to do that in a, as a public speaker, but I don't. And I think that's one thing that allows. I don't, I don't make eye contact with people frequently at all. That's- I, eye contact's weird, man. Like looking at each other in yeah. the eye while talking. I can't do that. You know, that's a sign of a sociopath if you can't make constant eye contact while speaking to someone, right? <sighs> Is it? Right? Yeah. Am I a sociopath? Really? It's possible. So, well, I guess I'm a sociopath. I'm going to go murder. BRB. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that wraps it up. Thanks, George, yeah. for the question. And thank you guys for uh, listening to episode 63 of the Minecraft podcast. Pause. Where can they send their questions? Oh, God. Why do I have to answer? Do I have to answer? Yes, please. What is the answer? Is it podcast at mindcracklp.com? It's podcast at mindcracklp.com, and be sure to put podcast in the subject line. Podcast. Podcast. Thank you so much for listening, and see you next week. Bye. Podcast. Bye. Penis. Penis. Dick. <laughs>